What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. Head to the link in my description below. Get a free graphic novel from me for signing up for my newsletter. Pretty awesome stuff. I've been on a Euro comics kick lately, and uh, that started with uh, researching Herman's Jeremiah here. I did a top 10 list of books I wanted reprinted, and this is actually one of them. But I found a deal uh, where I got the first couple volumes. Now, this volume one is severely out of print, so good luck finding this for under $100, maybe even under $200 at this point. Uh, there's there's not much of this out there. Uh, Herman is a longtime Eurocomic artist. He did, uh, I think, 27, 28 issues of this Jeremiah. And by issues, it's very different in Europe. They don't do 22-page issues like you get in uh, American comics. They do these albums, which are fancy, and they're like 48 pages each. So each story really has a lot more punch packed to it than, uh, than a lot of uh, American comics. So... Very cool. Dark Horse put these together. They have, there's three volumes of this, which cover the first nine albums of Jeremiah. And uh, they did a beautiful hardcover package, but again, it's out of print. Kind of hard to find, so good luck with that. I, I emailed them asking if I'd get the rights to try to <laughs> try to print the rest of this, but they didn't respond to me, unfortunately. Um, so, oh well, it is what it is. The art is absolutely stunning in this. What a cool little world. And I should mention that this was made into a TV series. So... Uh, there was a Showtime TV series by J. Michael Straczynski uh, with Luke Perry starring, of all people, uh, which uh, which took this concept. Now, there wasn't very much to it at all other than um, other other than like the use of Jeremiah and the fact that it's a post-apocalyptic setting is about is about all they took from it. And then they kind of like ran with their own story from there. I loved that TV series. It was a lot of fun. So uh, I think it's on one of the streaming services. It's worth watching. Definitely. Uh, but this comic book is really good, too. Now, uh, it starts out, they, they introduce kind of the post-apocalyptic thing in the first uh, couple pages, and you can just see this beautiful art, the meticulous care to the detail of the faces and all that. And look at the cool colors. You get the, you really get, like, the, the late afternoon sun uh, glow on here when you see this, and then er into the early evening when everything's kind of in the reds. Uh, you get you meet the character, Curdy, who's got his little helmet here, and He's a little uh, little rascals kind of guy. I mean, I guess they're older, but um, uh, Jeremiah and, and him uh, are uh, end up as a team together. In these first three, which is this first volume, uh, they the stories are a little, um, I'd say, formulaic. Uh, you get this sort of, uh, you know, roll into town. There's a, a kind of warlord there doing bad things, uh, and then Jer Jeremiah and Curdy like get wrapped up in the situation somehow. Uh, and the first one, he doesn't trust Curdy so much, he, you know, before uh, before they kind of become a team with, during this. Look at the beautiful horses. Gosh, the art is just so nice. And that's, I mean, this is just, just top tier art stuff. Um, they roll into town, they get involved in Broad and stuff, and, and then they, they end up, uh, you know, beating the bad guy warlord of towns, forming a rebellion, and kind of getting out. And that's what you get from these first three. Uh, and it starts to open up after that, which I'll get to in subsequent reviews of the volumes. Uh, like I said, there's three volumes of this out currently. Two and three are pretty easy to find. Um, all of these are done in a way where they don't really reference the backstories so much. So you get this whole deal, you get a uh, ride off into the sunset after they, they defeat the deal. You get uh, little intros by Herman himself too, which is nice. Uh, or I guess uh, it's not by him, but uh, they, they, they run some quotes of him. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, this, they go off into the desert for this next one and uh, end up uh, looking for some treasure. They, they, of course, other people are looking for this treasure too. And once they think that Jeremiah and Curdy are wrapped up into it, uh, they are they uh, you know capture them and and all that. Uh, and this is interesting because you get you really get that like sense of like water being so precious here and and them really needing it. Uh, just look at this crowd scene right here. Just gorgeous, gorgeous art. I love this coloring. It just makes me so happy all the way around. The Euro comics are a little slower than a lot of, especially modern American comics, I'd say. Uh, Pacing-wise, there's, you know, the, the word balloons end up uh, having a little bit more in it. One thing I don't like about this version of this, and it drives me crazy, uh, lettering uh, is important to me. Oh, they didn't do it on this one. Uh, okay, well, they do, it, they do it in some of them, and they don't do it in all of them, I guess. But uh, some of these, uh, they, they are very not careful about the crossbar eyes. Uh, maybe it happened in volume two. Uh, but, uh, that just distracts me when I, when I'm looking in the middle of words and that's the case. It looks like it was not done on these pages. Looks like somebody messed up on, on a few pages, I guess, uh, later on in this series. 
But look at this. Look at these cool, like, post-apocalyptic scenes right here. You just can't get better than this. Now, if you can't volume volume one, it's okay. Like I said, uh, these are pretty much one-off stories. And while, while uh, you know, the characters do develop a little bit, they don't really reference uh, a lot of what's going on in these stories in the later books so much. So you can definitely get away with just picking up volume two or whatever you can find. Um, like I said, they only did the first nine issues of these. Uh, look, at this, look at this cool town. This is an interesting one where there's a... Uh, is this the cult one? Or is that in the next volume? Eh, losing track of what's what. Reading too many books. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Okay, this one where a gal and her, her like brother are trying to like take over a town that's kind of controlled by a uh, person they were adopted by because they, they see that he's, he's dying, basically. Uh, and, uh, and then, of course, Jeremiah kind of kind of goes in and sets some people free. The next volume gets really interesting with the stories. Uh, th these ones were a little, like I said, formulaic in, in the way that they developed compared to the later stuff, but uh, people get better as they as they produce more work, as I said. So it's good stuff. Um, even though they were formulaic stories, I mean, the art's so beautiful, you can just, like, this is just eye candy. Uh, so it's a very nice read, very cool concept all the way around. Uh, I'd call this about a, uh, a 9 out of 10. I'd give it that. Uh, so if you can't find this, though, definitely it's fine to start with Volume 2. You don't really miss much in terms of that. Uh, I really hope there's a way to collect all of this stuff because uh, it's, it's definitely worth it. And uh, I'm sad that, you know, we don't have all of it. I'm sad that this uh, really didn't take off in America and sell uh, enough for Dark Horse to really finish off the series. Oh, well, what can you do? Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.